Hey folks, Damien from uh, Southpaw Designs here, and I finally did it. I made the final decision as to which program that I prefer to use for work with my CNC. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos before, I've kind of jumped around with Fusion 360 as well as Easel, and I might have mentioned that I was getting into uh, using uh, VCarve. Well, I finally made that decision. I'm going with VCarve, and what I'd like to do is take a few minutes and show you some of the things that made me decide to go with this software as opposed to a couple of uh, as opposed to the others. Now, this isn't going to be a deep dive into VCarve. It's also not going to be a comparison between VCarve, Fusion, and Easel. Uh, I'm going to put those out later, but this is a video that just kind of summarizes some of the key things that I really like about VCarve specifically vcarve pro which is the version that i decided to go with okay so here we are in a uh, vcarve pro i just downloaded it and uh, got it set up yesterday uh, i've experimented with uh, easel fusion 360 and now vcarve pro and i think for my needs this is probably the best bang for your buck it's just my opinion uh, i'm going to be doing a comparison video on a few different ones uh, in the coming days but uh, uh, so check back for that make sure you hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when that gets put out but to start off with let's talk a little bit about vcarve pro and this is not going to be a deep dive into the software this is really just hitting a few of the key things that i saw that really made me like this program uh, number one you have the ability to add your own fonts so if you have your own personal computer and you install your own fonts using a variety of resources there are hundreds of free ones out there you can get them relatively cheaply um, this is a great feature of actually having your own software instead of using something web-based like easel easel has its has its perks i've used it before and i like it and for a beginner i think it's a very good program but if you really want to be able to install your own fonts and use your own fonts then uh, vcarve is a good one for you for example i'm a big uh, goonies fan if anybody's ever curious as to what that tattoo is going down my right arm guess what it's a goonies sleeve um, so i installed the a goonies font right there and here you go so so i really like that fact right there if we take a look at some of the other features here you do have the ability to draw uh, arcs and lines and this is nice because you can uh, draw rough shapes but then you have the ability to access those specific points and curves and actually make changes to those so depending on how good of an artist or designer you are you can actually really customize things and uh, put those points exactly where you want them get things looking nice and tight all right you have a really good editor right here so you can edit a lot of your points and lines and those are all great so i really liked the variety of different uh, tools that you actually have at your disposal uh, with vcarve the, the node editing is what i was talking about right there so if i wanted to select uh, let's see convert it to curves actually i don't want to convert that to a curve so let's see can i just grab that there we go and node editing right there so I can actually just grab this node right here and I can tweak this and I can make changes to the shapes that are there now I don't want to do that with my text I want to leave that the way it is so I don't want to ungroup that and turn that into curves but you easily could okay so those are some of the things I like uh, another nice thing was that vcarve pro comes with a variety of different clip art which i didn't realize now some of this is kind of generic but there's some cool stuff in here um, i don't know when i would ever use fish and shellfish but if i ever needed that it's at my disposal uh, there are a variety of decorative shapes uh, plaques that kind of thing so those things come in handy um, so these uh, these look great so ice cream cones uh, what is that that's a gorilla so if you're doing a harambe tribute or anything like that boom there you go you can download a gorilla uh, piece of clip art so those are uh, a few of the features over here on this side now when we go over to uh, this side right here this is what I really liked um, I went ahead and set this up unable to node edit text no 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 there we go uh, I just got out of whatever I was doing um, so uh, so anyway now I'm over in my material setup and um, 
what I liked about this is that you can set up all of your toolpaths right here uh, in one list and again I'm not going to go over the details of what I've done here but the first thing I did just quickly was I created a pocket using a quarter inch and that's going to hog out the majority of this material here and then I have two profiles uh, let's see I can't remember which one yeah this is the first profile this is using an eighth inch bit which is going to kind of get in tight and get some of this material out right here uh, and then I have a 16th inch bit uh, that's what profile 3 is and that's going to go in and that's going to get real tight in kind of the teeth right there now it's still it's going to leave a little bit we are talking about wood here but um, but uh, I can set up multiple tool paths in one project then I can get a summary it shows me what the machining time is going to be I can also preview them right here. Now I can preview all of them or I can just select one and I can preview that. So let me select that preview, that one, and I uh, had max speed right there. So let's try it again right here. And it's loading up. So let's give it just a second. I think it's actually still loading here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and play that. Oh, wait. Let me pause this. Let me stop it. And I'm going to reset that preview. There we go. I think that's going to help. There we go. So now you can see it. I forgot that you have to reset it each time. So it'll go ahead and show you that preview. Now again, this is the quarter inch bit, so it's going to be hogging out the majority of the material. I'll go ahead and stop that. Then I go to profile two, which is my eighth inch, and I can see where it goes. Now, I didn't finish the previous one, so it looks unfinished. Now that, that's, uh, that's my fault for stopping the preview ahead of time. Let me go ahead and speed that up. It's done. Here, I'll go back and go to pocket one and I'll preview that one again. Uh, so when you do preview it, what it does is it, it keeps the preview of what you've already done. Uh, then I go into profile three and you notice you don't really get in tight right here inside of these uh, around the eyeballs and around the, uh, around the teeth and uh, inside some of these letters right here. So now I'm going to take this profile three and I'm going to run that one and so that really gets in tight. Now you notice it's not perfect again we're talking about wood and we're also talking about something that's about 18 inches so it doesn't really get tight right down right there above those uh, on those uh, eyes right there but again we're talking about wood here we're not talking about printing something out on a billboard or something like that it's 18 inches um, so there you go here was something else that I thought was great. Previously, what I would do is I would make sure to write down what all my tool paths, what all my settings were. But right here, you have this create job sheet, and this is awesome. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and create it again. And here is the job sheet. So this actually shows me my tool paths. It shows me what order they go in the estimated time, spindle speed that's set, which bits I'm using. Uh, and so I can print this off or take a screenshot of it, take it into my shop, and it's ready to go. I know what I need to do with each tool change. And so that was something that was a big, uh, that's a big thing for me. I really like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and save this toolpath, selected toolpaths. Uh, let's see. Uh, what I want to do is I want to save all of them to multiple files and I'm gonna select my post processor 1 infinity inches x50 no visible toolpaths oh, I guess I gotta select them okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and save those where's it gonna save it it's gonna save it to my Goonies key and there we go and you notice now I have three different toolpaths. 
shows me each one that I need to use. So that was really handy. I can actually have all three of them there. Uh, I prefer to load them up separately. I don't think I have any kind of multi-tool change uh, in my Onefinity. If I have, if I do have that, I've not found it yet. But uh, I thought that was something that was a, a really great feature. So this is just kind of a quick overview of some of the things that made me choose. Um, uh, uh, VCarve Pro as opposed to some of the other options out there. I think it's relatively easy to use, but you also have a lot of flexibility. And that's something that's a big, uh, you typically have one or the other. I, whenever I'm looking at all these, I tend to think of the three bears. You've got easy, Easel, which is the uh, mama bear. Uh, you know, it, it, it's very easy to use, but you don't have a lot of freedom in there. You don't have a lot of options. And then you have Fusion 360, which you can do anything and everything your heart desires, but um, you don't have, uh, but, but it's not very easy to use. There's a big learning curve to it. And I have a software background. So if I say there's a, a pretty big learning curve to something, then it's, it's pretty much true. Uh, but then you go into something like uh, like vCarve, which is what we have here, and I think this is a good mix, so we do have the best of both worlds there. So what I'm going to do next is in the next video, I'm actually going to take this into my shop, and I'm going to print this out, or I'm going to cut this out. Uh, I'm going to try to do it on a piece of walnut uh, with a uh, kind of a, it's not a live edge, but it's going to be uh, unfinished and we're going to see how that turns out, but that will be in a different video that I'll link at the end of this one when it's ready. So also, um, I've put out several videos on a variety of different topics from traditional woodworking to CNC, and it seems that the CNC videos are the ones that really get a lot of traction that you guys are really coming to, uh, to my channel to see. So I'm going to keep on putting out more CNC content uh, in the, the coming weeks. So please make sure you subscribe below so you can stay up to date on everything new that's coming up. All right, so I hope that made sense to you. Uh, I hope you got a lot of use out of that, and uh, you can actually implement that in your own life, in your own uh, CNC work. So again, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, leave a like, comment below about what you'd like to see from this channel, and I look forward to hearing from you.